what's up y'all y'all know i love to get on here and chat about the movies that i watch because i'm a huge movie buff and i'm a creative writer myself and so i get a lot of you know ideas or inspiration not like copying anyone but just you know we're all inspired by each other so anyway i'm watching this 2023 movie on uh, netflix called hunger and at first i was thinking oh is this going to be like that you know that other movie about food um the one where, you know, everybody died in the end. But no, this is like, this is deep too. I won't, it's like, they're both deep. But anyway, back to hunger. Okay, so it's about this this young street, fu- street food cook that pushes herself beyond her limits um, after she accepts like an invitation to train under like this infamous and ruthless chef. Yeah, think like um, that blonde guy. I, he's kind of like him so like this chef he's he's huge and he's uh, very popular and it's hard to get in his restaurant and what started him wanting to be a chef was that his mother was a maid for rich people and um, so one day he goes in the refrigerator and he pulls out this caviar and he breaks it and his mother gets punished basically she has to pay for it of course so you know, fast forward, he basically wants to be someone that rich people hunger for, that his food is like the cream of the crop so that he can charge the rich people, you know, a bunch of money. So, I mean, there's a lot of uh, lessons in this movie um, because it's not just about hunger for food. It's about the hunger for status. It's about the hunger for the status quo. It's about the hunger for, like, what it is you want to do in your life as well. Like, the hunger for your dreams. Like, some people, you know how someone can come into someone's life and and that person can help the person, you know? Okay, how do I want to say this? Let's just say you. (coughs) Excuse me. You have a friend that uh, wants to learn like you know how to cook and maybe you cook at a, um, a a local restaurant it's not super popular but you you know you like what you do blah 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 but you teach your cousin let's say how to cook and your cousin takes that you know skill and perfects it and works hard at it and is tenacious and becomes like top chef on tv on instagram on tiktok and blah 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 and now you resent that person because they've surpassed you this is my point this is the kind of stuff that I'm talking about when I say I see meaning and messages in movies because this is what people do people get envious and they get jealous and then they get petty and they'll turn on you people will turn on you for your talent because you're better than them but I want to say don't stop Don't stop being the best you. Don't stop being better. Don't stop being whatever it is you got to be to get where you got to go. Right? Because like family will fuck you up too. Because like her family, I mean, and her dad, you know, um, of course, he had a stroke. So of course you want to be there for your family. But to what extent do you have to push aside who you are and what it is you want to do for yourself and for life to save family or to save face with family you know because family will come and it was said in this movie her brother he's like oh come home haven't you already made it you know what more do you need to prove and it got me to thinking this is how people really think this is the fucked up shit that that holds people back because it's like yeah, I've made it. And yeah, I have proved to myself that I can make it and prove to other people who maybe didn't believe in me that I made it. However, this is where I want and this is where I want to be. And this is where I'm going to stay. So now if her father is dying, she's going to have some tough choices because do you go home to your dying father and be there for family because you're the eldest and she's the eldest in this movie? Or whatever you are. Doesn't matter if you're the middle child, the baby child, whatever. Are you going to go home and throw away all of what you've accomplished? Because she has a sponsor in this. Someone found, you know, her talent and they came and, you know, and 
invested in a restaurant for her. This is what people do. A lot of times these chefs that you see in these five star or Michelin restaurants and whatever, they've been sponsored. They were given that restaurant or invested. Someone invest, they had an investor invest in their restaurant concept because they were just that, you know, that big. Wouldn't it be kind of funny if if, if there was like a, a, a ghetto version of that where it was like somebody would invest in just and in just do like a basic menu, but make it gourmet, like gourmet fried peanut butter and jelly sandwiches with cinnamon coconut crusted bananas. <laughs> and then y'all are like, see, you just had to mess it up. You had to go left. You had to say some crazy shit. <laughs> of course I did. <laughs> But it would be funny, you know, I don't know, like on tonight's menu, we're serving um, hot Cheeto crusted chicken fingers. (laughs) Y'all know good damn well y'all would eat that shit. It's probably somebody on Instagram right now doing a video or that has done a video and crushed up some hot Cheetos and used it as a crust for some chicken. And they thought they were really doing something. Like y'all, I seriously, I've been seeing these videos, and I'm like, that shit is death in a in a <laughs> in a pan, and you bragging on it? Like, oh, I put hot Cheetos in my mac and cheese with potatoes and mushrooms and cream of mushroom soup and cheese and cheese and more cheese, and then topped with bacon. And it's like, ooh, look at all this cheese. This is so good. It's like that's why y'all full of shit now. You stopped up, backed up, and turned off because your whole body is dead. You are what you eat. So if you only eat dead food, you're dead. Your spirit's probably dead. There's a lot of, you know, like I'm telling you, eat to live, don't live to eat. You know, (laughs) it's hilarious. And you know, you can't tell black folks nothing. We are not going to give up our pork, we're not going to give up our cheese. It's people right now sleeping with a CPAP because they don't want to give up cheese. And I know y'all are like, what does that have to do with it? What does cheese have to do with it? Cut it out for 90 days and you'll see. 90 days. Because I'm afraid that in 30 days you won't really notice the difference. Because you're going to be hard-headed part of that time anyway and you're not going to do it. Cut out cheese and you will see you won't catch a cold. You won't have upper respiratory issues. Dairy produces a shit ton of mucus. And wherever there's too much mucus in an area of your body, disease is forming. You know, mucus, mucus works two ways. It's, it's, it fights, you know, uh, it carries out toxins. Like when you have a cold, the reason why you're blowing your nose so much is that that's the mucus trying to fight the infection that is in your sinuses and it is carrying the toxins out in the mucus. That's why you should sweat, you know, blah, blah, blah to get the toxins out because our bodies have to have a way to detox. And if you are not detoxing inside out, like what you're eating, peppers, um, natural peppers, if you can't take hot food, then you can take vegetables, you know, um, fresh vegetables when they're left in their most natural state, are a diuretic they have they have a lot of water and a lot of fiber you know (laughs) listen to me but anyway i do know a lot about this stuff because i like to read up on it i I mean all i do is just read and listen to lectures i'm up i'm up uh what 20 hours of the day (laughs) i literally only sleep four hours so i'm like okay if i'm going to be up then i'm going to do something that's going to benefit my mind my body and my soul and literally on my website there's consistency there on my website my mantra is to be a catalyst for human expansion through creativity of mind body and soul and that is literally what this podcast is I am being a catalyst hopefully somebody has learned something or thought twice about something or said you know what she's right I could change this or I could change that I'm changing too y'all I'm growing I'm healing I'm healing from my podcast because this is my therapy. This is my outlet. This is my way of getting out what's on my mind. And I don't trust a whole lot of people. And not because I'm not a trusting person. It's because I choose not to. 
because it keeps down drama. And another thing that keeps down drama is the cutoff game is strong with this one. I'm telling y'all, you have to cut people off, especially if they're coming to you with nothing but negative energy. All they ever do is complain about life and everything that goes on in it. I'm not not talking about, you know, that friend that has highs or lows every now and then that's, you know, that legitimate gripes and concerns. I'm talking about because mental health is, 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 is huge. I'm talking, I'm just talking about that person who you're looking at them like, seriously, your life ain't bad. Like, what are you complaining about? Just go somewhere and, 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 and relax, you know? But anyway, uh, Hunger 2023 on Netflix, it's two hours and 10 minutes, but it is worth every bit of the two hours and 10 minutes. It's graphic. I will tell you that you're going to see some blood, some guts and gore, but it's quite interesting when you look at these movies from a different perspective when you try to get into the psychology behind the movie and like what the producer or director or writer or whatever was trying to say. Because that's the thing about creativity. If you look at it a certain way, it literally is just every creative person on earth. We're all creative, first and foremost, y'all. Just so you know. Some of you are probably thinking, I wish I was creative. You're creative. You're just creative in a different way. You create your life every day. So be creative with your thought process and what you want for yourself, you know, because you are creating every day, every moment of the day. So watch your thoughts. But, um, yeah, it's quite interesting. All right, y'all. Thanks for tuning in to the Boxing Stella podcast. Deuces. Oh, (laughs) y'all know I always have something else to say. Go visit me online www.dawnofnova.com and check out my offering. All right, now I'm really out. <laughs>